So that's what I think Bitcoin is going to look like. What time frame do I believe that this is going to happen in? I believe this move happens and sort of we get the, the move up and the retracement all before the end of the week. Why? Because the end of the week is co coincides with the next full moon. Okay. And we typically see market retracements or market bottoms rather a local market bottoms at a full moon. Okay. That's just, uh, based off of the data that we have, uh, in financial markets, most full moons represent local market bottoms, especially when you're dealing with impulsive price action. Hello again, my name is Dan from Max Talk Crypto. This is where we subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is September 26th, 2023. And today we're going to talk about what to expect from this upcoming, incoming, impending crypto pump. Okay, not just Bitcoin pump, but crypto pump, a whole market pump. Okay, first and foremost, why am I so confident in the idea that we're going to get a pump? We've been in a crab market, in a sideways accumulation, right, or consolidation, if you will. Okay. It's not an accumulation or a distribution until it breaks out or it breaks down. Okay. If it breaks out, it's an accumulation or it was an accumulation. If it breaks down, it was a distribution. I believe we're in a, an accumulation in a 40 day accumulation. Okay. So what I see here, and I've talked about this before, I see all of this breaking up and out. Okay. So I'm fairly confident that that is happening. It's sort of, uh, you know, it's happening right now and that we will eventually see a move up. Okay. Now what to expect from that move up, not just in Bitcoin, but also in altcoins. That's what we're, we're going to talk about. Okay. And I guess let's just start off and say that just like I said yesterday, I'm seeing this midline right here, the midline of this 40 day channel. Okay. Let's redraw that midline of this 40 day channel as being support. And that's where we're supported on right now. And we actually currently put in a W. Okay. You typically see these W bases. Okay. In reversals. And actually, if you look at this on a higher time frame, you'll also make out a sort of W pattern. Okay. When you're doing price analysis, chart analysis, you always want to be cognizant of the time frames that you're on, the time frame that you're on, and the time frames that you work with. Um, understand that the patterns are fractal, meaning whatever you see on whatever time frame you're working on, if you should you zoom out or should you zoom in, you should see similar things. So just like you know, on this four hourly time frame, this is looking like a W reversal. Were you to zoom out? On the weekly time frame, for instance, let's just do that for the purposes. Can we see it on the weekly? Let's see. Uh, can't really see it on the weekly like that. Let's try the daily. Okay, daily, maybe. You also see a semblance of a W. Does that make sense? So these patterns are universal. These patterns are fractal. They're common, okay? So this is why I'm seeing this type of base reversal pattern at that midline that should move us up and out of this 40 day channel, which then would prove, um, that the previous 40 days in Bitcoin were accumulative. Okay. Now question, where are we going and what is this pump going to look like? Is it just going to pump and dump, you know, uh, do a, one of those, uh, swing failure patterns. We don't know. Okay. Let's say that out at the outset. This is technical analysis. There are no assurances. This is all probabilistic. This is all speculative based off of the data that we have in front of us. But that being said, based off of what we're seeing, it's likely that this is what it's going to look like. And I'm going to get as specific as possible. I'm not afraid of being wrong, been wrong so many times. That's not, I don't care about that. What I want to do as an analyst and as a trader 
is make a plan, the best possible plan with the information that I have. With more information, I refine the plan and I gradually refine it, okay? And so what I'm seeing now, based off of what we have in front of us, is a move first to 32,000, okay? That's our first significant resistance. Once we hit that resistance, I can see us do a golden pocket retracement. What does that mean? That means we go up in five waves, just like Elliott Wave says, right? And this is a quick move, okay? Quick move. Why? There's obviously 40 days worth of accumulation, okay? So that's like the cause. That is the pressure building for 40 days. 40 days up and down and up and down and up and down in a constrained range. So that breakout is going to be strong. You're maybe in the, in the course of an hour, hit 32, right? Maybe 30 minutes, I don't know. But it's going to be quick, quick, quick move to 32. And then a quick, equally quick retracement down to the golden uh, pocket, meaning the 0 0.5 to 0 0.618 Fibonacci retracement of that move to 32. That would serve two purposes. One, it would put in your second uh, Elliott wave. Two, it would retest the top uh, of the 40-day channel resistance as support. You always want to retest significant resistance as support. That is, um, you know, there aren't that many rules in trading. There aren't that many rules in technical analysis. That's as close to a rule as we have. Staunch resistance flipped into support before matriculating, um, you know, onwards. You can't just go. And if you, let's say you just went, that is a sure fire sign of a swing failure pattern because that move wasn't true for the move to be true you must put in that retracement and turn that 40 day resistance into new support so that's our first hit okay 32,000 and then back to about what 20 what is this 28 29 something like that here let's just uh measure it really quickly guys if you're getting value don't forget to like share and subscribe okay so let's see Move to 32. Okay, I would say between 2815, so 28,150 and 28,800. Okay, I think that's what the retracement looks like. That's the first move. Okay. Secondly, once we hit that, and again, this should be quick. Once we hit that, what's our next target? Well, the next target typically of an Elliott wave one. And a retracement of wave two is the 1618 Fibonacci extension of waves one retracement of wave two. So let's just let's just put this out. And again, I'm getting way. This is not something. Understand, this is like a placeholder. This is just like you put this in just to get an idea, just to get in your mind what you sh you can expect. Okay. But then you have to be flexible enough to edit it, to adjust it as things go. And you can't be so rigid as to say, this must happen because, you know, my analysis says so. Like, you know, forget that. That's a great way to lose. You want to be rich, not right. So just put this as a placeholder. Some some people, help, this helps. Some people, this hurts, right? Um, and yeah, this is what I think it's going to look like. That first wave, like I said, to 32, and if we measure with the Fibonacci extension tool, okay, and it could look exactly like this, or it could be a little different, or way different. We'll see, okay? You gotta be courageous enough to take chances as an analyst, as a trader, if you really want to push yourself, I believe, okay? It's not about trying to always be perfect, but do your best. Okay, so I, I advanced the five wave to 2236 because that's a minimum extension of any um, uh, impulse, okay? So wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. I'm seeing something like that. We could also see what we typically see in fresh waves, meaning in the first Elliott wave in a long time out of a consolidation, a long consolidation, we see something called a, a leading diagonal. Meaning that 
wave one and wave two can be of the same length. Okay? And there are retracements also between the 0.5 and the 618. There's so many different things that can happen here. But I'm just putting this out there. Like, if you haven't gotten a move in a while, it's the first move in a while, you typically see a leading diagonal pattern. Okay? Not always, but sometimes. Okay? So it would look more like this. And then that wave 5 extension would still would continue for a long time, but the first leg of the wave five extension would do exactly what we thought, which is uh, come up, hit the next major resistance, and then do a wave two retracement. If I hope this is this isn't uh, too crazy for everybody, um, but I still think that m my original, the more conventional read is more likely. Reason being. If you were to put in one, two, three, four, five, just conventional, you know, waves one through fives with that uh, conventional measurement, you could easily put in an ABC retracement that lasted around the same time, okay, down to your level of 32,000, which has to be retested as support. You cannot be under a resistance for hundreds of days. Remember, 32,000 was resistance right here, and it was also resistance all the way back here, okay? I don't know. I'm pointing with my finger. That doesn't really help you. It was resistance back here, right, on the way down. It was resistance over here. So 32,000, or 30, yeah, 32,000 for Bitcoin has been resistance for a long time. This must be retested as support. So this lends more credence to this trade plan where you go up, in a conventional wave one, wave two, between the golden pocket, right, of wave one, wave three, one, six, one, eight to two Fibonacci extension, wave four, wave five, right, wave four between the uh, two, three, six, uh, one, eight, two to, damn, it's been so long. <laughs> um, wave four would be between the two, three, six and the one, eight, two of wave three, right, something like that. It's just been so long since we've been looking at impulses. Uh, 236 to 382, yeah. So wave wave 4 would come here and then wave 5 like that. Okay, so this is more likely than not just because it sets up the idea for this retracement right here perfectly. And we have to retest 32,000 as support. All right, so that's what I think Bitcoin is going to look like. What time frame do I believe that this is going to happen in? I believe this move happens and sort of we get the the move up and the retracement all before the end of the week why because the end of the week is co coincides with the next full moon okay and we typically see market retracements or market bottoms rather a local market bottoms at a full moon okay that's just uh based off of the data that we have uh, in financial markets, most full moons represent local market bottoms, especially when you're dealing with impulsive price action. So that's why I can expect that. And also because, you know, the weekends, you know, typically present retracements for our financial markets, especially in crypto when the US dollar currency index isn't trading, okay? Because it, it doesn't provide any liquidity. So that's what I see for Bitcoin. Now, similarly, but not exactly the same, I see altcoins moving up, right? So you see how Bitcoin I have moving up for that wave one, that first move. Let, let's clean this up a little bit. That first move I see going to 32,000 in a one swift move, right? And that's a 21% move to the upside. Well, I'm actually seeing a 25% move in the total two. For those of you who don't know, the total two is an aggregate chart of every, um, well, most, if not every, every altcoin that TradingView has available to them. Okay. I don't know what their criteria is, um, criteria are. For, for including or excluding altcoins from the total two. But I'm assuming and I trust that most altcoins are included in this calculation. So Bitcoin goes 21%, altcoins go 25%, right? That seems about right. Altcoins typically outperform Bitcoin in any move, right? Up or down. 
Okay, so that's the first move. And just like Bitcoin, I expect that to be quick. Wave one, wave two to the golden pocket. Break that wave three, wave four between the 382 and the uh, 236 and the 382 of wave three. And then wave five to hit that $1 trillion target. Okay, then just like 32,000 was staunch resistance for a long time in Bitcoin, this 670 billion level for altcoins has been resistance since July or sorry, since June of 2022. Okay, so that's over a year. This must be retested as support. And as you can see, if this does play out in one, two, three, four, five waves, like so, we get that three wave move down, retracing th these five waves between the 0.5 and the 618, right? The golden pocket. And also retesting that 670 billion as support. Resistance flipped into support, then you can continue. I also see that all happening within the course of this week before the full moon, before the end of the week on the 29th, okay? So that's the altcoins. Now, but why, why, why do we see this as a possibility? Not just looking at the charts for the respective assets that we're charting, right? You look at Bitcoin, you look at your altcoins, you see there's some possibilities there, or probabilities, always possibilities. We're looking at probabilities. It's really important to, to take into account the US dollar currency index as if this continues to go up, you, you're not going to get anything, okay? And I think that what this chart is showing us is this uptrend of 70 days is finally finding a resistance strong enough to turn it, okay? So 70 days, we've been in a weak uptrend, okay? I'm not going to say this is a strong uptrend. Strong uptrends are parabolic. Strong uptrends are orthogonal. They're like, you know, up and down. This is a stair step 45 degree uptrend. This is a bearish rally for me. Okay. If you zoom out and I said this yesterday and you really look at the context of this, this rally for the past 70 days, it's likely in the context of an A wave, a B wave, and this is the C wave. This is the impulsive wave. Again, Elliott wave tells us all corrective patterns come in flavors of three. Okay. You have one, two, three, and the third leg or the third, um, the, the third wave, or how would you say it? The third, the third part aspect, whatever of the corrective pattern is always impulsive. Okay. Cause if I say wave, it's like, which wave are you talking about? Because even when you're looking at waves, if you look at this as three waves, Within those, each, you see three waves. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Or, and actually, actually, the, the impulse is pure. Okay? So you see, we count this as a flat correction in Elliott Wave Theory. It's three waves, three waves, five waves. Okay? That's a flat correction. So this is just a pure impulsive wave. But it's not pure insofar as it's, you know, it's devoid of correction it's within the total context of a corrective pattern okay it's just the last leg of a corrective pattern so this is really what gives us confidence to say okay looking at the us dollar currency index the context of this rise the angle of the rise okay for my people who do uh gan analysis you guys know your angles angles are important if the angle is sharp and it's acute then you're talking probably some real parabolic price action. If you're looking at something that is taken 70 days just to put in a very labored uptrend like this, you're 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 not talking about a, a pure purely impulsive move, okay? Uh, and also, obviously, there is resistance, which was previous support of this head and shoulders right here that we broke down from, okay? So all that is now your new resistance, we're at resistance. I'm expecting to come down. I'm looking at my momentum indicator. My uh, stochastic RSI momentum indicator on the daily is overbought. My four hourly is overbought. My uh, weekly 
is completely overbought. I mean, so this basically tells me whatever moves we put in in the crypto market are not just short term fly by night moves. Okay, they are moves to begin much larger moves. Okay, and the last thing I'll say is this. When we're looking at this initial move to 32,000 and then retracement down to 28 and then to the $40,000 region and then a smaller retracement wave four, and then finally to our target 43,000 and then the retracement back down to 32. This is the beginning of a massive uptrend that takes us into highs, all time highs. This is not just, let's go up a little bit, hang out, and then nuke. No, this is the beginning of something big. That is what the DXY is telling us with the three-wave pattern, with the fact that we're at resistance. And so it took us 70 days just to meet resistance. And what happens next? Well, we put in that next move, right? If you look at this as being an A b c then we put in that c wave if you don't look at it as an abc and you look at this as a corrective pattern kind of to accumulate for the dxy to then go up like this it's still gonna come and take us down to the base of this channel all that being said you can expect significant moves up in risk on assets given that the dollar is looking to decline in the immediate and medium short uh, medium time frames guys that's all i've got hope this was helpful this was useful like share and subscribe if you got value and i'll see you next time